Okay, I'm going to minimize. Well, no, first I'll make sure it loads properly. So puzzles. There we go. I'm going to minimize chat. There we go. Actually, is that a good size? That's good enough for now. Okay. Black to move. So we're down a pawn. This is surprising position. So I guess there's a check which we could look at first. Um, I, yeah, it's probably the, probably we should look at a move like that because the only other move that would make sense to look at is trading queens, which is forcing. But after that, there's nothing that looks like there's a tactic there. So, um, yeah, it's probably going to be queen c1 to start. Nothing else really makes any sense to me here. Okay, yeah, because again, just taking no follow-up makes any sense to me. So let's look at queen c1. He has two responses. If bishop d1, I'll get, I'll get rid of these arrows here. So queen c1, bishop d1, I could then take on b2. Um, and hope that I don't get trapped. If he gives me a check there, I guess he could then check me on e4. And let's say I go king f8. And if he takes on, oh no, but then he can't take on b7. I have that covered. So maybe just taking b2. Now let's say queen c1, king f2. Probably I still just take on b2. I don't know, that looks to be like the idea to me. Queen c1, king f2. Queen takes b2. I don't think he can trap me. Let's say he goes to the bishop d1 route again. Queen c1, bishop d1, queen takes b2. Um, I guess he could go queen takes g7. And then after rook f8 let's see, i guess he goes queen e5 check king d8 bishop f6 king f8 i mean i'm i'm fine there And I don't think my queen's getting trapped. Queen c1, bishop d1. Um, queen takes b2. He could castle. I take on a1. Even if he gets knight a6 in there, I should be okay. I, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go queen c1. Yeah, and he goes bishop b1. And I'm, I'm going to take it. Nothing else really makes sense to me. So, Oh! I got it wrong, which is okay with me. Because it's been a while since I got one wrong. Um, interesting. So what was the solution? Oh, castles, that seems boring. Hmm. So first of all, why does taking on b2 not work? What did I miss? It's supposed to be equal here after queen takes g7, which is a line I looked at. Oh, but then he... Well, first of all, he can apparently... I don't know if I love this puzzle, but... Apparently, castling is just equal. 
If I take, oh, this is what I missed. Then he has rookie one. So I can't actually take the rook. Because our rook is held hostage. That's actually interesting. Excuse me. That, I didn't think about that. I assumed he would just give a check, but he could just keep the queen there. That's interesting. Um, he also could have played knight d2. And if I take the rook, then knight, hang on, I just got to ban this spammer. Do, 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 do. Bam, done. Okay, apparently it's knight e4 here. And again, our king is kind of held hostage where our rook is, and it's hard for us to do things. Now, this is a very hard idea to find. Um, so this is actually a very tricky one, deceptive. Um, yeah, so, but the key is after he takes on g7, he can keep the queen there. That's the tricky part. Very tricky. Wait, what? And, uh, yeah, and we can't, because of the pawn on f4, we can't even block with the bishop. Like, we can't, um, we can't here play bishop e6. Apparently, he can even just sack the exchange. How does that work? The bishop comes in. Wow, that's got to be it. Yeah. Okay, and um, but then then here you have to find the best move is to castle, and surprisingly, that's still winning. I guess because now his king is kind of in trouble, and if he tries to defend. The B pawn, he's going to lose the bishop. So that was a tricky one. Okay, let's see if I can make up those points. I'm going to minimize chat and try to make up those points. Or I might lose more. So black to move. We're down a minor piece. Yeah. So we have a check. We have two checks. Actually, this check looks interesting too because if he takes with the knight, then we have check here, but that's still not going to be a knockout. But yeah, this looks the most obvious. He's forced to go to h1. And then I have another check on g3. So queen f2, king h1, knight g3 check. h takes is forced. And then I could go queen takes g3. And if it was my move again, which it's not, but I'm threatening h2 mate. Yeah, so queen f2, king h1. Knight g3. H takes G3, queen, oh wait, no, he'll have a knight protecting H2 though. His bishop is also hanging right now on G4. But then he might have a discovery after queen c8 check. Yeah, he would. So I can't take that bishop. I want to look at bishop h2 again. Because bishop h2, he can't go king f1 because that's mate. And if he goes king h1, I have knight f2 mate. So bishop h2, he has to play knight takes h2. Yeah, I just want to run through that logic again. So make sure I don't miss anything. But bishop h2 check, king f1 is mate on f2. And after bishop h2, king h1, knight f2 is mate. Okay, so bishop h2, knight takes h2 is forced. 
and then I have queen f2, king h1, and then I have knight, that's mate. Yeah, that's that's the mate. I'm going to play that. Okay. Okay, that was actually not that difficult, but I had to be careful. Opening up chat. Got five points back. Okay, minimizing chat. Here we go. White to move. Our king is, ha, looks like it played a bond cloud. His knight is on a1, probably can't escape properly. It's a possible check here. Material looks to be equal, no wait, we are down a rook. Doesn't feel like we are, but we're down a rook. And there's 16 pawns on the board. So we're down a rook, we need something major. Um, we might be able to win the, the knight on a1, but we need something bigger. So the most natural move is, is queen g7. But that might be a bit slow because there's queen c4 check coming. But okay, so I guess there's queen e5. I just saw that now. So let's look at that. Queen e5 and we're threatening mate. Um, he can't go to d8 because that's mate. And so he'll have to go to king f8. And if we go to e7, so queen e5, king f8, queen e7, king g8. And it's not, not just mate in four. Is it that simple? Queen e5, king f8, queen e7, king g8, queen, uh, queen d8 check. That's just, that's just mate. Did they give us a really simple one for some reason? Wow, I'll take it. Sometimes they throw in some really simple ones. That is as simple as it can get, like opening up chat. Like, I don't know why that's rated 2855. That should be rated like 1300. <laughs> but hey, I'll take, I'll take the easy ones when they give them. That, I think that is a new personal best, 3074. Let me just double check. Um, I guess I can do that by going here. 3,074, yeah, new personal best. On a really easy one, so I feel a little bit, you know, guilty about getting that really easy one. Um, and even the one before that was pretty simple, but, you know, sometimes you get difficult ones, sometimes you get easy ones. But yeah, kind of strange that they still throw out some like this was a forced mate. I had no choice but to play this. Like, so strange, but I'll take it. Okay, so that's going to be it for me today. Um, I often like to stop when I hit a new personal best. 3,074 new high on chess.com puzzles. Time to peek sit there a little bit. Um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.